I started growing my hair because I hated going to the barber shop. I hated getting like my hair cut every week. And I really hated my barber shop. They just the comments you you know how it is in a barber shop. It's just comments a lot of things. It's just a uncomfortable atmosphere. So I was like I refuse to go to the barber, so I just started growing out my hair. I started growing my hair because I wanted to do something different. I was uh, very accustomed to actually just having a Caesar. And actually, I wanted to do it because of uh, John Legend and Maxwell. So I wanted to do like a little fro, you know, kind of kinky and stuff, and then it just got longer, and then I did like a little twist, and then my um, person who did my twist was like, you know what, you should try and go ahead and uh, actually do dreads. So I started the process in that. I do think that there are enough I don't think there are enough positive images in music. Um, why do I think that? I feel like R&B and hip hop is kind of strange to label them as positive. It's hard to label them as positive, but in role models in real life, I think there are definitely enough people, whether it's in your community, your church, your school, your job. I just remember everything from elementary school up to high school, hearing every name in the book about my hair. Shitlocks, Dirty Mop, Burt Cheetos. So, I mean, even to this day still, I can walk into a store and the first thing you'll see is my hair and go straight to judgment. And the way that it, I feel like the way people, I feel like the way that people interact with me sometimes with my locks, those who are ignorant with it will act ignorant towards me. But, um, when I first started growing my locks, my grandma was like, oh, you're, you're gonna be like a statistic, you have locks, and like, you're not gonna get a job anywhere, and it was like, what do you mean? Like, there's a lot of guys in corporate America that have jobs, and um, I mean, it kind of made me feel bad, but I still did it, and I stayed true to what I wanted to do, because it was my decision, it's a journey that I wanted to embark on, so it was more for me. Never. I just like right now my hair is me. Like my hair, I, like is a part of my identity. So to cut that off, that's like cutting off a piece of myself. Like I'm not willing to do that because I know a lot of places will like me with my hair. Because they're jealous. That's that's the only reason I could think. You know, when has hair ever represented something being unprofessional? I think it's bias. I think they might be jealous. And usually, you know, the people with the locks, they get, you know, some a little bit boost of more attention. So maybe that's what it is. I've never seen them as unprofessional. So bye. The pro to having dreadlocks is every once in a while you get this feeling of, oh, I can be someone new today. I can do my hair this way and I feel like a different person. Um, so you get to adapt and change, but it's still the same thing. Um, but then the con is how do you wrestle with it on days where you don't want to play with your hair, when you don't want people to look at your hair, and you just want to sort of dissolve into the background. So hats are very important for that reason. Um, the pros of having locks, one of them is definitely the sense of the community around it. Um, even walking in here today and just seeing so many people who look like me. Um, there's something to be said about being a part of a community where you see people who look like you. It's almost like a mirror. It, it strengthens the things that you know about yourself and possibly even makes you consider other things that you don't know about yourself. Uh, the cons, more so, uh, definitely in the professional field, there aren't too many people who are acceptable of dreadlocks or hair that um, that has this look because uh, for some reason it has like this connotation of a uh, really dirty lifestyle and something that is not marketable within like the business world. So a lot of people think of it as distasteful, which you know, of course, I don't agree with, obviously. I feel like um, they're turning it into something corny. I mean, I understand people who use it to start their locks or 
you know, get it to where they want to faster, but they're still going to have locks the next week and not, you know, have a, a partner here with a fade. But, like, um, that's going to become very trendy and stuff like that. Uh, I think the purpose of keeping your locks is to see them grow and see them change and different things you can do with it. And it definitely changes your outlook on things because people treat you different. Um, you look totally different. You have to dress different. You're associated with different crowds. So, you know, to honestly do it, you have to have them for a lifetime or a certain amount of time rather than, like, go to salon, pay a dollars, get some fake ones in, take some pictures, go to the club. Next month, you, you know, don't have them. I'm all about upliftment, so I can't really preach any negativity towards it. So I'm for whatever brings people together. So if that makes them feel like they have dreads and they feel more spiritual, I respect it. We are culture. We are present. We are enduring. We are evolving. We are resilience. We are motivational. We are kings. We are strong. We are the creators. We are multifaceted. We are otherworldly. We are undefinable. We are black men, and our lives matter.